going on, you guys? Sir Burns a lot here with Team High Cloud, and today I'm bringing you this 3v3 game on 4D and playing with O'Malley and Prodigy against these guys that I don't know, that probably no one knows, but that's just how it is nowadays with Halo Wars being so dead. Um, searching and threes and stuff, trying to find turtles, and uh, these are really the games that we find instead of finding turtles most of the time. Right here, you see I actually built an elephant because we were planning on turtling, but then we saw their combo and we were like, no, we better not. So, I'm just going to play it safe, play the standard uh, way that I play cutter on this map, and uh, well, it's not really the standard way to play cutter on this map, but it's just a way that I like to do it. Um, I play the super late game with cutter, uh, get the expo, and uh, go to PT and see what I can get done. Um, but it turns into a pretty interesting game. It's not really uh, ridiculously exciting, but hopefully you guys will enjoy it. We are running a double RB cutter, and I started uh, trying to talk O'Malley and uh, Prodigy and a couple of other people I play with to run double RB cutter as opposed to uh, the double, uh, double RB Anders, because we don't really, ru uh, like running RB Brute Anders or RB Brute Forge or anything like that, because we just, I don't know, you see that a whole shit ton, I know you see a bunch of RBs, uh, double RBs and stuff like that too, but I don't know, I feel like I see a lot more RB Brutes, uh, RB Brute UNSC than anything else, so, uh, in my opinion, I believe the double RB, um, has a better mid game, uh, just because you can uh, rage down their first couple of tanks and stuff like that. You can kind of keep them on low population while your UNSC builds up. And you're really all you're doing is sacrificing your air lead uh, by going more into uh, your rage and stuff like that. But you could always go single some advance and counter the air and still counter the stuff on the ground. And I mean, I don't know. I just feel like the double RB is a pretty good strategy here. But anyway... Uh, right here, I'm going to reactor fourth. I'm going to get, I think I stop at five hogs because I want to have a little bit of money to start upgrading pads after my reactor comes up. And I'm not going to put a vehicle depot on my main. Um, I like to get tech two on my main, get an expo, and get a vehicle depot uh, going on my expo. Um, since they're going to be, I don't know, I like to get the, um, the eco and stuff if I'm like playing late game because if they have a late game player as well I want to have a way better eco than them I want to have a way better late game we'll see how it works out and everything it's really pretty risky to not put a vehicle deep on your main because you're delaying uh, your tank production by so much but then again you're getting a lot more money than the other person so it just kind of depends on how you play it but here I plan on playing very defensively using the advantage I have off of the defenders advantage there to either uh, use this time that I'm getting more money to get money and then uh, pretty much make up that time by having my tanks coming out of my base to defend and kind of using that to my advantage. You see that they are camping the lift here, but I'm going to be able to get this uh, Warthog the fuck away from here so they can't just ram him down when he unlocks his base. And that's what I told him I was going to do. I told him that I would counter uh, camp the lift there. That way they can't just sit there on his base. Uh, but they do make some gunner hogs there. They do drop a D-bomb, so we force a D-bomb pretty early. They drop it on their side, which is really unfortunate for them because all we uh all we have to do is drive away and we're completely fine we get out of there unscathed and uh i'm just gonna sit over here and attack this base and uh i haven't settled into a blind spot on that base because there is a rebel unit gonna chase me down and everything but now i'll settle into a blind spot in the base try to get my hogs over here and see if we can settle in and start taking this base down um and there we go so i'm gonna start clearing this expo we do have both of our Irby's playing offense uh we originally were going to go for their RB, but I don't remember. I think, yeah, he shielded up, so we decided not to go for them. They both went for Fiendish and started just hacking away at buildings to delay buildings. The Anders, I believe it was. Uh, so we were just trying to keep the Anders pretty much as low as we can. Uh, the other UNSC, we really don't care. Um, we'll just let them go and do their own thing. We'll just keep Anders down because if we keep Anders off of Goss, uh, these Arby's that I have on my team aren't really going to have a whole shit ton to worry about. So right here they drop a cryo. They freeze their own base, but they manage to freeze our Arby's there, and they are able to secure the kill there on one of them. So uh, in the meantime, while I'm waiting on the cooldown on this base, I am going to upgrade a few pads here uh, and collect all the supplies around the base because uh, there are a whole bunch of supplies around the base. If you just look behind the bases and stuff, there's money everywhere, money to be had everywhere. But I think I'm actually going to delay building my expo for a second 
uh, by uh, upgrading that pad there instead of going into the base straight away, which is okay. It's not really that bad of a thing. I, I mean, it was only a delay by a second, and I'm pretty sure they're not uh, they're not even close to having an expo yet. So right here, I'm going to upgrade another pad because I only need the 150 to build the vehicle depot straight away. As soon as I get that expo up, I'll put a vehicle depot up, uh, put up a pad, build a tank, upgrade the pad when it comes up, build another pad, build a tank, upgrade a pad, and just keep macroing in. And um, eventually, I'm going to be able to get on a double pump. Then I'll sell one of my vehicle depots, go for canny, and we'll just go from there. But I always like to build the vehicle depot in the back of the base here. And I'm going to show you guys I actually make a mistake in this game. Team High Cloud making mistakes all week this week because we have been playing some Dota. And we've been having lots of fun with it. If you guys haven't checked Dota 2 out, I know I say this in almost every one of my videos now. You guys really should check it out. It's a really fun game. And I'd really like to meet some more people to play this thing with. Um... Even though we're only playing against bots and stuff, it's still pretty fun right now. But, I mean, once we start uh, getting a little bit better and getting a team together, we plan on doing some match-made games and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, Vehicle Depot comes up here. And I'm super late on my Vehicle Depot, and I understand that. And I know that their other guy has been able to make tanks this whole time, and they could push up, and they could do some damage and everything. But the thing is, right now, if they push up, they'll have low numbers of tanks. They already use one of their D-bombs. They'll have to drop a D-bomb if we pull both of our Arby's back and start raging. There's really nothing that they're going to be able to do against that. Uh, so they'll lose their tanks. I'll keep my tanks, and then I'll have the tank lead anyway. So it really doesn't matter. So I'm going to go ahead and queue up another tank here. And I'm going to upgrade this pad, and I'm just going to keep rolling, keep doing whatever. My uh, Warthog there actually got glitched for some reason. He was shooting at nothing, and I'm going to show you guys here in another second or two. Um, this guy's just sitting here just shooting. He's just doing nothing. He's just kind of just sitting, just shooting off into the distance like, Don't fucking attack me, son! But... Uh, I guess he just stopped there. That's cool. That's pretty cool. But this base is freed up now. If anybody wanted to take it, they could. Um, right now, I'm going to get my hogs together and go over to their side and see if I can scout an expo. Expo. <laughs> uh, maybe I can scout an expo and maybe take it down. Um, I accidentally started moving my tank up here, and I'm like, oh, shit, I don't need to move my tank. I need to move my warthogs up there because right now I don't care if my warthogs die, but I don't want my first couple of tanks getting raged. So that's really the whole point of what I was doing there. Um, so you see I'm going to go Vehicle Depot first and fifth on my Expo here. Um, and that's going to make sure that I'm able to make up on these tank numbers that I lost before. But that's also going to give me the slot that I'm going to need to recycle uh, one of them to put up a reactor and just do my shenanigans from there. But I see right here they just cleared the base and everything. So I'm going to show up and I'm going to make sure uh, after a little bit of cooldown here, I'm not going to let them keep this base. So we'll just kind of see what they try to do here. Um, and pretty much just use these hogs as a nuisance. There's really no other uh, thing that we need here. But I'm going to go ahead and give O'Malley a heal here because he he's a good teammate and he deserves it. Um, but my, uh, my other vehicle depot is coming up now. So I'm going to be going straight into a double pump. And uh, I kind of like double pumping on stock for a little bit, especially since they've been able to delay so much because then they can't do like any kind of counter push if I've got some pretty good numbers um, because they'll lose their stuff and then I can just tech up a little bit later but normally you're not going to want to tech up when they could counter push and right here you see like after they start doing some damage on these uh, the arbiters and stuff that'd be a good time for them to counter push so you know you don't really want to be teching up while that's happening and I'm going to show you guys this is my mistake right here um, well this isn't the mistake but well it still is a mistake I guess but um, I'm going to show you guys right here why you don't want to tech up uh, why uh, while they have the lead like that. I'm going to queue up another tank here, and I'm going to go ahead and start walking up with my stuff, I believe. I start walking up with my tanks, and um, when they go for the counter push on us, I'm going to make a counter counter push on them, and we're going to see how that works out for us. Um, but what's going to happen is that I recycled one of my vehicle depots to put up a reactor so I can queue up canister shell. I'm going to queue up canister shell. Then I'm going to buy, I believe I buy my third tech. And I see here that his tanks and stuff, he's got, what was that, six? So he's got six stock tanks. I'm on about six stock tanks now. Well, I'm about to have six, I believe. And we have another RB over here, so that's two heals. I'm running support here. It's good I upgraded all those pads so I can have this extra money. But... Anyway, 
um, now that I have all these tanks and stuff, I'm going to sit in this choke point for a second. This is what I'm thinking at this point. I was like, okay, I'm going to go sit in this choke point. If he tries to push in with those tanks, he's going to get stuck. And then, I mean, if nothing else, we'll match up and it's whatever. But I am researching canister shell at this moment. Um, and Prodigy was like, oh, well, they could just come through the middle. And I was like, yeah, they could come through the middle. I don't know why you tried to take that expo. There's really no point in a covenant taking the expo on this map. Um, all you have to do is get full pop banshees and then roll up and deny their expos. But you see here, if he would have put that money into air instead of going for another base here, uh, he would have done a little bit better. But they did, I believe they used their candies on the base there. But I see here that this would be a really fun time to turn this into a base race and see what we can do here. So I'm not going to uh, go back to defend that because he has banshees. He can defend with the banshees if he wants to. I'm going to bring my tanks over here. And I'm going to... He's going to kill this expo, then we're going to move up and kill another guy's base. But this is the blunder. This is the problem here. I went into 4th tech. I told one of them, I was like, yo, click me so I can get power turret. And this is why you don't want to tech up or uh, you don't want to do your tech and then down tech or anything while they're um, they're attacking you and everything. Because you see here, I queue up power turret and I'm going to bring up my vehicle depot. So I, DQ, I down teched there <laughs> from power turret, but their tanks are right there. So that's a big mistake. You never want to do that. And you'll just have to see how it pans out and everything. We're gonna, it's gonna cost me a lot in the long run to be able to come back up and actually get my stuff. So you're gonna see here, I'm gonna get a few tanks. I was gonna go and candy that tank, but I was like, whatever, I've got more tanks over here. I'll just take care of them in a minute if he tries to defend. Kill his vehicle depot, so he's not gonna get any upgrades. So this guy's on stock. This guy's on flat tanks. I do have canister shell, so if nothing else, I do have canister shell. Another heal because I'm a boss. And you see here, I'm not going to be able to do anything out of that base. So what I'm going to end up having to do here is for me to get power turret, I'm going to have to upgrade another reactor, which is going to put me on fourth tech, but it's two advanced reactors. So if they take those out, I'm essentially out of the game, right? So I'm going to have to do that, and I'm going to have to sell a supply pad here to put up a vehicle depot so I can queue power turret. I have enough money for it, and it's not really that big of a problem, but they tried to push us into a base race situation. I could have went back and defended. We could have swept all their units up and everything. But what's the point in that? What's the fun in that? So uh, right here, he tries to get me with a carpet. Carpet's not going to do anything. He just wasted money there. Uh, didn't get a tank kill. He got one tank down to about half health. Half a tank's, what, 250? So fuck that. Anyway... Uh, crapping on this guy's base, I'm going to be able to drop this pretty quick, and then we'll move up to red and start doing some damage there, and we'll kind of see what we can do. I know with red, he had some vamps, and vamps aren't going to do anything against power turret. Uh, Banshees hardly do anything against this many power turret, so as long as I can keep my tanks alive, it's not going to be a problem at all. So, right here, I've got a base off to the side and everything, and we'll just kind of see what's going on, but um, I told him if he could just fire a couple shots off of that, finish that, and I'm going to go ahead and start working on this guy's base because uh, I don't think he has a shield, and he doesn't have a shield at this point. So I've got all these candy tanks and everything. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to kick the shit out of this temple. Like, I'm going to destroy this temple. He's not going to be able to build any more units. He won't get any more upgrades on his leader. He's not going to be able to really do anything. So I'm going to go ahead and candy here. And I'm going to take that temple out, uh, drop a couple of the pads. If I can drop pads, even if he comes back and tries to rage and stuff, he's not going to have uh, money. So right here, we're just trying to turn it into a real base race, see what we can get done here. But I'm just moving my units around to make sure he's not focusing any of my stuff down. Uh, and I hear O'Malley, here's the vamps, here's the vamps. So I move over to this side over here and um, just going to try to come over here and hit some of these units while I'm still attacking the base and everything. I'm about to have power turret. I don't remember. Th there it is. I've got power turret now. So there's really no point in having my four tech up and everything. So I might as well just go ahead and sell those off, make what money I can. Um, I need to buy another base over here. So that's what I'm going to end up doing soon. I tell one of them to boost to a base so I can go ahead and uh, get an expo because I really need a base. But they're slacking. There it is. I'm going to buy this base here. And this is another uh, cool thing about Cutter that I wanted to talk to you guys about. With Cutter, in a base race situation, it'll start you off on a station, which is going to be really good because you're not going to have to spend your eco to uh, get back into the game. You're going to, uh, well, as far as expanding your base and everything, you can buy two expos and never get off of your station. You don't have to upgrade to a fortress. You don't even have to upgrade to your station. You just buy the base. You're automatically on a station. You have all your building slots. That means you dedicate all of your money into regaining your eco and rebuilding your units instead of re like you know making your base bigger. But anyway, I'm just going to build a couple of pads here. I'm not really worried about their units or anything right now because I have six power turret tanks, and the other guy lost some of his tanks 
and they're all on stock. So he's going to have to buy a base and get fourth tech and upgrade to get on the same level that I'm at. And in the meantime, all I have to do is get second tech and start building tanks, and I'm still in the game. Um, and in the base race situation, having this many power turret tanks is really ridiculous because even if the Covenant does uh, manage to scramble and get a base, um, they can't really go all RB against you, and they can't really build air against you because they're not going to build it fast enough. You're going to walk around the map, finding bases, taking them down, and they're not going to be able to get stuff out fast enough. So that's essentially how this one's going to work here. I'm going to be able to take this uh, base down. I believe uh, yellow did go for Goss, which is a pretty good option for a base trade because you don't have to have tech to build them. So it's a pretty good option there. But still, there's really nothing they're going to be able to do. We're just going to roll around and check bases, make sure they don't have anything, and they're going to be out of the game pretty much. So... Um, right here, I believe I buy this base, um, because I need to have two bases going at one time. That's another thing with Cutter. You get a double station, you can easily get back into a game, starting off with this much money. It's pretty much like playing the game from the start. Um, you just go into your Tech 2, get the vehicle depots up, and start pumping your stuff again. But, see here, they're stripping his base. He doesn't really have that many, uh... He doesn't have any units over there to defend or anything, so they're sitting over there with stock tanks. I'm going to start making my way over there, clearing the expos uh, while I'm going over there, making sure they don't have anything. And essentially what's going to happen is once I meet up with those tanks, I'm going to sweep all of their units up, and they're not going to be able to do anything. They have Gauss, they've got flat tanks, they've got air. It doesn't matter. Power turrets, OP as fuck. So I'm just going to move up. And I'm going to smash his base. Blue's going for the base at the same time. But he's on stock. And I see a black bar there. And I'm like, hey, where are you going, buddy? So I'm just going to follow him real fast. See if I can find any units. And um, they did kill... Uh, I don't remember if that was a Mali or Prodigy's base. But uh, killed one of their bases there. But we are rebounding. We all have bases and stuff. And with PT on your side, you're not going to be able to get any kind of base presence. There's nothing you're going to be able to do. Um, and you see here, it doesn't matter how many Gauss he has, my tanks are going to just eat all that up. And I'm just going to candy this base down, and there's nothing this guy can do about it. I'm just going to straight kill that base, and I'll just sweep up all of his hogs, and that's that's it. Not going to be able to do anything there. So, O'Malley sends me a click here. I told him I needed a click to uh, start building a tank, but I decided I was going to mac this expo instead. Uh, because I'm a, I'm a point whore. I want to take all the points for myself. Um, not really. I really didn't care. I just did it to speed up the process of killing that because I didn't want their vamps or anything coming over there saying anything about it. So, um, I am rebounding on my eco though, so it's not really a problem. O'Malley sent me that click, which was very helpful. Um, but right here I know that I'm not going to have the money to double pump since O'Malley did send me that click. I thought I might be able to squeeze two more tanks out, but I really don't even have to. Just need to keep my tanks alive uh, that I already have, and that will pretty much be the end of the game. There's not really anything that they can do, so I think this guy realized it, so he went ahead and blew his base up. Maybe he sold it off trying to make money to get something somewhere else. But at this point, when we're sitting on our side and we're able to just sit back and not do anything... Um, except rebuild our stuff and still constantly keep pressure on, that's where the game is essentially won. Um, and there's really nothing they can do about it. Um, so that's the really cool thing about Power Turret. If you can sit back, play defensively, use your defender's advantage to get that Power Turret, and then just kind of sit back, and um, if you do get into the base race situation, all you have to do is rebuild the Tech 2 and start pumping those units again, you're good to go. But anyway, that's essentially an end of the game here. These guys are dropping like flies. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A nice, uh, instead of seeing us lose this week on Team High Cloud. But anyway, uh, you guys take it easy. Hope you enjoyed it, and you guys have a great day.